President Obama says U.S. efforts to free American hostages are relentless. The White House confirmed the death of 26-year-old ISIS hostage Kyla Mueller. It is not clear how the Arizona woman died, but there is no evidence to support ISIS claims she was killed in a Jordanian airstrike. Mueller was helping Syrian refugees when she was kidnapped by ISIS in August of 2013. CBS News has confirmed that intelligence officials believe she was given to an ISIS fighter as a bride. The United States tried to rescue her in a series of failed attempts. Arizona Senator John McCain offered an emotional response to Mueller's death from Capitol Hill. I want to express the deepest condolences to Kayla's parents, Marcia and Carl Mueller, her loving family and many friends. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. Ben Tracy is in Mueller's hometown of Prescott, Arizona, where a community is in shock over losing one of its own. Ben, good morning. Jeff, good morning. This is a town of just 40,000 people, and it's fair to say that most of them are in shock. Hardly anyone here knew that one of their own had been held by ISIS for 18 months, but they now know she's not coming home. Kayla has touched the heart of the world. The world grieves with us. The world mourns with us. The world wants to be more like Kayla. And if that is her legacy and the footprint that she leaves on the world, and that is a wonderful thing. Family and friends of Kayla Mueller gathered outside the courthouse in Prescott to remember her far too short 26 years. She has done more in her incredible 26 years than many people could ever imagine doing in their lifetime. This town in the Arizona mountains is where Kayla first became a voracious volunteer. She worked with AIDS patients at a women's shelter and eventually left home to do humanitarian work in India, Israel, and then Syria. But what was so extraordinary about Kayla is she did ordinary things to extraordinary measures. Such as trying to teach her ISIS captors how to make crafts and finding more than a sliver of light in so much darkness. In a letter to her parents last year, Kayla wrote, even in prison, one can be free. I am grateful. I have come to see that there is good in every situation, sometimes we just have to look for it. That optimism is harder to find among the pain in Prescott. This is a town still recovering from the Yarnell fire a year and a half ago. 19 Prescott firefighters, members of the Granite Mountain Hotshots, were killed. And now Kayla Mueller. Aaron Street was her best friend. I'm not yet sure how to live in a world without Kayla, but I do know that we're all living in a better world because of her. Now, Kayla's parents have not spoken publicly, but in a statement, they did say that their hearts are broken having lost their only child. They said they will spend the rest of their lives honoring hers. Gail. All right, Ben. It, it is. It's yeah. a heartbreaking story. We've been talking about this all morning. Thank you, Ben.